I'm Andy Norton. I'm ODI's <coughs> Director of Research. Um, and delighted to welcome you to this um, launch event for Who Counts um, on the fascinating topic of participatory statistics. And it's something I've followed down the years a little bit, much less than Jeremy and Robert and Carlos who are presenting today. But I'm really looking forward to hearing this and to catching up on the work they've been doing. Um, a couple of the kinds of things I usually forget to say at the beginning and indeed forget to do. One is, if you have a phone, please turn the ringer off. Um, and the other is just quickly that um, if the fire, arm, fire alarm goes off, it means we do have to leave the building and leave the way you came in, please. It would not be a drill. So that, that's all. I think that's all I'm supposed to say at this point. Um, ask also that, um, just before I forget, for the speakers to please speak into the mic because we are being li live streamed. So for the audience, um, th it's necessary that they hear that. Um, I'll introduce the panel before we um, get into the substance. Um, and I think a long time ago, Jeremy sent me a, a draft of the introductory chapter. And I'm really pleased now to see this book out and to see the sort of range of guidance that it provides people for working with you know, participatory approaches and statistics, quantitative approaches, whatever, and for bringing those two together. Um, I'll introduce the panel now in the order in which they'll speak. The first speaker will be Jeremy Holland, um, who's a visiting fellow in the IDS Participation, Power and Social Change team. Um, and, uh, well, Jeremy's worked in this area for a long time, both as a freelance consultant, also at the Centre for Development Studies in Swansea, um, at the World Bank, and at also at Oxford Policy Management, where he led the social development team. So welcome, Jeremy. Um, the second speaker will be, I'm um, delighted to welcome Robert Chambers to ODI. Um, I'm sure you all know of Robert from hi the huge influence he's had on participatory approaches to learning and action down the years leading the IDS team and, of course, many, many other <coughs> engagements as well. Um, his particular interests at the moment are um, participatory methodologies, um, learning with large numbers, agriculture and science, seasonality re revisited, and particularly, <coughs> I think, community-led total sanitation. Shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we'll have three discussants afterwards. The first one will be Carlos Barahona, um, Deputy Director, University of Reading's Statistical Services Centre. Um, I'm really pleased to meet Carlos because I've seen his work for years um, but never met him before now. But um, he's always been in the forefront of debates about using participatory learning and action methods and bringing that together with um, statistical analysis. Um, we're delighted to welcome you here, Carlos. Um, the, s the second discussant will be Claire Melamed, who's the head of our growth, poverty and inequality program at ODI. And I'm sure many of you know Claire from her work um, look on sort of the, th the ever-growing debate about what will follow the MDGs and the Sustainable Development Goals and all of that sort of stuff. And particularly within that, um, there is a major project called My World, which is a participatory approach to looking at um, how um, citizen voice can be included in that debate about what will follow the Millennium Development Goals. And finally, I'm um, also very pleased to welcome Neil Jackson, who's um, only very recently started as Chief Statistician at DFID. Um, and before that, Neil was working for the UK Statistics Authority, where he played a leading role in developing and implementing its program of assessment. Um, and anyway, I'll probably leave it at that at this point in the interest of time and so that we can get on with the meeting. So, Jeremy, would you like to start? Thank you. 